Hey guys, Ragnarok54 here, and welcome back to another RuneScape video. Uh, I just wanted to update you guys on what I've been doing, what I've been up to, and the levels that I've gotten since my last video, since it has been quite a while. So I have been up to a lot of stuff. I've got a ton of new things that I've done and levels that I've gotten. Uh, I don't even know when my last video was made or what progress I had when I had made my last video. Uh, I have been questing a lot as well, it's not just levels. I have completed all of the quests up until Plague's End, and more after that because I wanted to do Temple at Seniston, which is the quest in order to get curses. So I've been doing a ton of quests, um, but unfortunately they're too, back, too far back on my adventurer's log for me to look up and show you guys exactly which quests I've done. I've done what, too many to name even. As you guys can see, I now have 159 quest points. Uh, right now, I'm working on Wanted. I think that is one of the requirements for Template Seniston. I also want to do the quest Do No Evil in order to get Ava's Alerter so that I don't have to keep losing bolts whenever I use a crossbow. And Because right now, the, the Ava backpack that I can use is not very good. It's better for me to use a skill cape but the skill capes don't, unfortunately, pick up bolts. But, as I said, I have been questing it up, and I have all the requirements for Plague's End, and yes, that does include the levels. So, here are my levels. It's a lot of gain since last video. I'm not even sure what my total level was last video, but I'm sure this is quite a bit higher. 2141. I have gotten every single level 75 requirement, not even going to have to boost anything. I was thinking I would just do that, but I decided I would just rather get the levels because I'm going to have to get them one day if I am going to get those levels up one day. So I decided why not just do it now. So I do have my 75 agility, I have 75 engineering, construction, crafting, you know, I have, I have all, the, all the requirements now. So that is very exciting, and another level you may see that is very exciting for me at least is 70 smithing. So I got this pretty recently from more, whoa, I have exactly 80, 810,000 XP. Uh, I got that two days ago, I think it was, from Warbands, and right away I went and I forged my royal crossbow, so I actually do have a royal crossbow now. I was kind of disappointed by its performance the very first time I killed QBD with it, because I got it at QBD, which took me six minutes to do one kill at QBD. Uh, it was it was not the greatest. I had to wait forever for her to actually do the hot flames. But I got that kill, and I decided to do another kill with the Royal Crossbow. Uh, as you know, the QBD drops Royal Bolts in the loot every time, so I just picked those up and did a kill with the Royal Crossbow. And honestly, I wasn't I wasn't too impressed with it that time, but. After doing a few Slayer tasks with it, I am a bit more impressed with it. Um, it does do quite a bit of damage, and it is pretty accurate. I also really like how it looks, like how the person holds it and stuff. And speaking of people, I, you may notice that I have a female character right now. It's not too easy to notice when I'm wearing Ganodermic. But I actually do have a female character right now because I needed it for the quest recruitment drive. I will be changing it back because I'm not one of those people. But uh, I just haven't gotten around to actually going to the Make of a Mage and changing back again after completing the quest. So you guys probably noticed that I am playing in resizable screen, which is like more like full screen, instead of fixed screen this time. I have been playing like this for the past uh, week or so maybe, maybe a little bit less than a week. But I personally really like it. Uh, I, I did record a video and stuff when I was playing like this but I recorded it in fixed stream because I wasn't sure if my computer would explode if I recorded like this. I am, I think, I'm pretty sure I'm on high detail right now, and it's going pretty fine. As you can see, I can still slay pretty effectively while still being in high detail and recording. So hopefully I can make more videos like this. If you guys like this setup, versus my smaller fixed screen setup which I used to record in, let me know in the comments because I would gladly do either one. Uh, I would still play like this I think, but if you guys liked the other ones in videos to see the more compact setup then I would be definitely fine with doing that. But anyways, back to the levels, I did use my enlightenment aura once again. So I have gotten a few prayer levels and a few uh, summoning levels. I got two summoning levels. I am now level 90 summoning. 
that just sound that sounds like a pretty high level to me so i'm pretty happy with myself but i'm going to need a lot more charms if i want to get 96 or even 99 for the steel titan i think it is so that's going to be a work in progress and in order to make that easier i really want to get the charming imp so just yesterday i started doing sinkholes i did it for like the first time in a long time I did them like the day they came out and then never did them again. I didn't really know what I was doing, so the first time I got a medium lamp, I didn't even play a card because I, I just didn't know what I was doing. Uh, and then the second time, I had a little little bit better of an idea what I was doing, and I actually got first place. I got a huge lamp, so that was pretty awesome. It didn't actually give too much more XP than the medium lamp, so I thought that was kind of weird, but I'll go with it because I still got like 75k dungeoneering XP for free. But it's not just the XP I want, obviously, it is the tokens that I want for the Charming Imp, and also I would like a few other Dungeoneering rewards as well. So this kind of kind of ties into my next topic as to what I'm actually doing now, like what are my goals, what am I trying to get, and I was, I was debating on what I want my goals to be right now. I still have that Ritual to Madrat just in the distance, That's, that's I'm not going to be focusing on that because I really don't want to want to do that right now. There's a lot of other things that I'm worried about right now. Uh, first of all, my goal right now is to finally finish the Elf Quest series by doing Plague's End. I can do it. As I said, I have all the requirements. I just haven't actually gotten around to doing it. I'm going to do that later today. I told myself I was going to do that, but I was already at this Gargoyles task and I had like 250 of them, so only 85 more. So I was thinking about doing it after I finish this task, unless I get like an amazing task after this one. But that is my goal right now, but that's obviously a very short-term goal. I'm probably going to finish that today even. After that, I am kind of debating. I obviously want to get a max cape one day, but that is a pretty like far goal, so to speak. Um, and I also was debating whether or not I should get, or at least go for 120 Slayer. So um, Slayer is my favorite skill by far, and I really enjoy it, and I could see myself doing it in order to get 120. Uh, it wouldn't even be that bad, I don't think. It would just take a bit of time. And if I hardcored it like I did when I was getting 99, I could get it pretty quickly and efficiently, I think. Right now, I haven't been slaying at all, so I'm just at 14.4 mil experience. But that's still decent, I think. Uh, I think it would definitely be doable, and I really like the cape. And not very many people have 120 slayers, so I think it would be a really cool accomplishment to actually get. I'm conflicted on which one of those two things, Max or 120 Slayer, that I want to go for right now. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I've asked like all my friends this, and I've gotten pretty much 50-50 responses. Some people saying Slayer, some people saying Maxcape. But I do have a few goals that I want to get out of the way. Either way, I'm going whether or not I want to get the Maxcape or 120 Slayer first. Obviously getting both of them would be nice, but it's more realistic just to think of one of them right now. So to get 120 Slayer or Max Cape right now, my goals are more simple than that. Right now, I really want to get 95 Prayer, which I am well on my way to. I am 89 with really not that um, far away from 90, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I also want to get 96 Summoning, but in order to get that, I'm going to have to get the Charming Imp. That's my goal, at least. Um, 94 herb lore and might as well get 96 because I think I'll get 96 before I even get the other levels anyways just from doing warbands. Uh, by the way, that is what I'm doing warbands on now, now that I've gotten the 75 construction and 70 smithing. Uh, I think herb lore is the most efficient thing to use it on because it's the most expensive of all the skills you can get from warbands. So after I get 96 with that, I'll probably go to another level unless I really want to get 99 from it. It's only going to take me another week or something, or a, a little over a week to get 99, or to get 96 from Warbands, I think it is. I can't remember if that's 96, oh no, it's 94, but I can make overloads once I'm at 94. So I'd want the overloads no matter what level I'm going for. Um, also, I would want the Charming Imp, I listed that on the little list I wrote as well. And I also really want the Bone Crusher, because... If I'm going for Slayer and I get 95 prayer at least, or maybe even before that, it would be really nice just to get that extra free prayer XP, and if I'm doing 120 Slayer, then I'm going to be getting a lot of bone drops from all the things I kill, so getting that extra prayer XP would definitely add up after time. And the last thing that I would want is 
pretty much a, f a full setup of all the different combat styles. Because right now, right now, um, I almost have what my goal would be. I have my Royal Crossbow, which is a really decent weapon. I have Drygores, and I have this Armadil Battle Staff. But I kind of wanted something better than the Armadil Battle Staff because it is only a level 77 weapon. I would like to get a Chaotic Staff as well. So uh, that is a lot of Dungeoneering tokens, all the rewards I've been talking about. But I think if I do sinkholes, because I don't really want to do dungeoneering honestly, but if I think if I do enough sinkholes, then I will be able to get it. And also, um, getting 85 dungeoneering would be pretty awesome in order to do frost dragons. But that's not on the list or anything. That would just be something I could do if I don't want to do QBD, which now that I don't have ascensions anymore is not nearly as quick. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think on the whole Max or 120 Slayer thing. I really want some more people's opinion on that because I don't want to make, like, a rash decision. Uh, if I make the bad decision, then, I, I mean, that would just be horrible. But let me know what you think on that as well as the whole interface setup. I will be uploading a video tomorrow, a uh, more high-quality video on the Elf City. I really wanted to talk about that, but I didn't, just didn't have enough time in this video. I didn't want it to go too long because it is going to take a ton of time to render just as it is because I'm using this full screen setup. But uh, I will be uploading a video on the Elf City, Plague's End, stuff like that. Um, if you guys don't know about it, then definitely check that video out because it's just amazing and I'm super excited for it. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, it really does help. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.